In this video, we're going to be creating an egg shape with CSS. Uh, it's nothing too exciting, uh, but let's take a look at an example here. Uh, you can see we've just basically got a rounded shape here. We're creating this purely with a div element, and we're going to give it a background color, and then we're going to round off the corners with border radius. So uh, nothing too complicated here. Uh, let's go ahead and look straight at the source code of this. So to save a little bit of time, I've already marked this page up and I'm linking in a style sheet just here. So again, nothing uh, exceptionally good about this. Um, so let's first of all start off with the markup. I'm going to create a div with a class of egg and this is all we need. So over in the style sheet here, we're going to uh, use the, uh, a class selector to select this egg. Uh, at the moment, if I just refresh back from the previous example, we have nothing on the page at all. So we're going to start very, very simply here. OK, so the first thing that we want to do is give this a width and height. So let's give it 120 pixel width and we'll say the height slightly bigger than the width because obviously an egg has that to that specific shape. You can't see anything at the moment because we've not given this a background color. So I'm going to give this a background color here of tomato. So just to confuse things even more, when I refresh, we see this. So it's already, you know, starting to look like it could be egg shaped. Okay, so the really the key to this is just the border radius property. So the CSS3 border radius property. Now, normally when we define a border radius, we do something like 10 pixels. And this will do the following. So it rounds out the borders just here. Or we could give a percentage. So we could say something like 50%. Uh, and what that's going to do is round that out. So it's starting to look a little bit more like an egg. Except when we can't just provide a border radius values uh, like this. Because we're not going to have um, a shape that we want. We want to modify this so it's not um, an elliptical radius. Um, so to do this, all we do is we provide a slash in the middle of these values. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a naught, 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 naught here. Then I'm going to do a slash and then naught, 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 naught again. So basically we're going to add percentage values here to build this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to examine what's happening in the console, uh, sorry, in the developer tools here on this element. So we can examine exactly what we're doing um, inside of here and we can mess around with the values if we want. Now these values don't have to be exact. Uh, we can just experiment with them. So, you know, really... Uh, you can play around with what kind of egg shape that you want. Excellent. So the border radius to start with, we're going to have 50%. And then we're going to do 50% here again, 50% again, and 50% again. And all this really means is the um, top left, the top right, the bottom right, and the bottom left. So all that's done is not, well, it's not done anything because we need to provide the other values in order to make up this non um, elliptical radius. So here what we do is we slightly vary things. Let's first of all do 50%, 50%, 50%, and again we'll experiment with these in the uh, developer tools. So there we go. So we've now got that rounded shape that we saw when we just gave a 50% value initially. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is slightly modify these and see how that changes things. So again, let's go over to our CSS properties here, and I'm just going to start to bump this value here up. Now you can notice if I do it high enough, you can see there's a slight change um, in the top left here. You can see that it's less uh, elliptical, like so. So I'm going to set this at 60%, and that will give me a sort of point-ish at the top. And then I'm going to do the same for the top right. So you can see that's already starting to bring it in at the top more than it is at the bottom. Now at the bottom, we obviously want this to be a lower value because we want it to be larger. So if we do 40% and 40%, you can see that now that has formed a perfect egg shape. So go ahead and play around with these values if you want a slightly different thing. But otherwise, we have created a egg with CSS. The only thing that we need to do now is just copy this, paste it into here, give that page a refresh, and there we go. Excellent. We've created an egg with CSS.